When the fresh air purge is complete, move the dial to where it says ratio and check that the fuel is the correct fuel. You can select the fuel via the menu. Having referred to the boiler manufacturer's instructions regarding the position of the probe and also the test procedures, insert the probe into the boiler. Now you'll notice that the readings have about a 10 second delay. This is the time sample of flue gas to actually travel the length of the hose and be analysed. It is actually continuously sampling. When the readings have stabilised, typically after a minute or so, with the dial in the ratio position, you can check the actual CO, CO2 ratio to four decimal places, the carbon monoxide readings in parts per million, and the carbon dioxide or CO2 reading in a percentage. If you move the dial to the oxygen and efficiency position, it gives you the oxygen percentage. TF is the flue temperature reading in degrees C. TI is the inlet temperature. And EFC is the combustion efficiency reading. The next position on the dial is the auxiliary position. This is currently set to show oxygen, CO, the clock and the battery status. But you can actually set via the menu the readings that you want on lines 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is actually your personal page. When the readings are stable and you want to do a combustion printout, the rotary switch can either be in the ratio position, oxygen and efficiency, or the auxiliary position. Simply make sure your printer is switched on, press the send button. You must keep the analyzer and the printer lined up all the time that it says printing on the display. Combustion readings can also be logged by pressing the send button for two seconds. The log number is briefly displayed on the top line. These readings have been stored as log number eight. The memory can store up to 99 combustion readings. Logged readings can be viewed and printed by the menu. When you've finished your combustion tests, switch the instrument off and it will automatically go through a 30 second purge cycle to make sure there's fresh air in the analyzer. When you finish your combustion test, disconnect the thermocouple and the flue probe hose. Wait for the, the probe to cool and then move the adjustment cone over the tip of the probe to protect the thermocouple. Because during the tests, moisture will have collected in the lowest point of the hose, it's important to actually wind the hose up so that any moisture drains out. If we just put the probe on the floor and then just wind up the hose so that any moisture drains out, be careful because that will be slightly acid.